So you guys are just here. My eyes always do something. So uh I've been actually wanting I've been actually building something pretty cool for the past uh I'd say month good the Lego Raygun Mark II. As you can see it's uh it's a quite a big gun. This is kind of like a th uh, third per this is what you see in first person no no third person this is what you see in first person the gun so uh this ray gun mark ii when it's pack a bunch it becomes the i don't care where you come from or how you work just give me my suit <laughs> that's a pretty sweet looking upgrade Orders Mark II ray gun. That is a sand purple dish. I didn't want it to be like that, but the, it doesn't exist. Dark red 8x8 eight eight dishes do not exist. Other than that, all of everything else is good. Now, the cool things about this is that this ray gun Mark II was in Black Ops 2 Zombies. It was on all the maps. Yeah, it was on all the maps after an update or if you bought the DLC, I think, Buried. Uh, this makes a return in Black Ops 3 Chronicles. I think Chronicles only. I'm pretty sure the first person. Let's see this Oops getting it There it is see if it and the cool thing about this too is it reloads so I can take this clip out and then just put it in A lot of you are probably wondering how in the world does that handle holding up all this weight well that is because the handle design I had to design a completely different, like, really different design for a handle. Something I normally wouldn't do, but say, seeing that I wanted to be able to hold it like this and not go like, like, just snap in half and go. The build time for this was about 40 to 50 hours, which it took me about 3-4 days to accomplish this, and I did bought pieces that I needed. I really think it turned out really good. Like, look at the back. The back, I, I love the most. The back part is, like, the part that really looks like in the game. I'm definitely going to do comparison, photo, footage, and stuff. Uh, they also, the other thing I want to point out is that... Uh, I don't know if this is in any LEGO sets. I'm pretty sure that's a prototype piece. The half Technic connector piece in black... They were surprisingly expensive, $5 for one of them. Stats. Hi. No yellow bin. I like hit my arm. Off. So the other stats are that I'm pretty sure this does, not 100% sure, but I know this does a lot of damage since it's a burst gun. And the other funny thing is that this does do splash damage, but you have to be, I think, prone. Prone, and as he shoots, he downs himself, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like... Uh, I'm like, I don't remember the ray gun Mark II doing splash damage, so it does. I didn't know that. But I think this does about 24 to 32,000, and when it's pack-a-punched, I think that's the amount towards the head. And when this is packed, it does over 100,000 damage to the head. This entire, these entire sections here move down like this. I really wanted to give it an angled look. So when you look in there, it's really nothing too special at all. Uh, now, let, once again, you're probably going to be like, how is that handle made? Well, there's the handle design. Two 1x12s Technic bricks going up on each two on the back, two in the front. These Technic bin, pins go inside the gun about this far. And then what I, do, what I did was I put everything down with bricks, put some pins through these other Technic pieces so it doesn't go so that's why I can do this without it going forward now the other reason why it's so strong is I use the you know the rectangular technic block pieces that are rectangles and they're hollow in the center that's how this whole front piece is you can just go through through so <laughs> there it is it's like and then you do like one of these I need to like wind it up perfect with the can. It's like, hold it out further. It's like, so 
not much else to say there's like a first person view i really love this design it is quite heavy actually again i built it at i would say a tad oversized just to get all of the good details in there and just to show how heavy it actually is look at the imprint on my finger right there this really does weigh there a lot of the weight is really on the handle that's why i had to build it so strong to not screw up anything this is a lego ray gun mark ii everybody right there Now again, thumbnail times a lady. All right, so last piece of business. I did make some updates on my original ray gun design right here. There's a few updates, few little things here that I adjusted, few things there you'll see. Now, the order I made was supposed to have two more of these because it would have looked really cool from this angle right there that angle so just a few updates on this i will compare like videos you'll see the difference is because i took photos and i combined it textures and other stuff from world at war black ops one two and three all together so now ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna pick it up i'm showing you my lego ray gun this is for forty thousand subscribers now i spent a lot of time on this model there's one last thing I want to ask you guys. Would you love to see me build the GKZ-45 Mark III? And those are the, the pistols. Those are the two pistol things. The Kimbo Ray Guns. The Ray Gun Mark II. And the, imagine, imagine in zombies having this. This would be sweet. You'd be like, oh, this is killing my hand. The Ray Gun Mark II is like digging into my hand. I can feel the weight though. I really can't. Are we ready? Go. For 1,000. Close in your weapon. Give them to me now. That was weird. All seven perks.